Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Series content. Today's video, we're going to discuss who is better, Ramji versus Carry. But before that, if you want updated EXO Series content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, how is everyone? So I've been asked a couple a couple of questions recently on who is better to bring with a nullify heal skill. Um, but before we go into the debate on skills, let us take a look at first um, the tail of the tape in terms of boxing. So Ramji on the left and you have Kari on the right. So Ramji is first and foremost a support unit and carry is an attack unit so there will there will definitely be differences in their stats so i would want you to take a look at their stats first because it they really would really number one depend on what you would prefer um probably a more tankier version with uh, with ramji or probably a, a high attack version um with carry so with their hp Ramji is actually um, on top with high HP. Next is your attack. Obviously, Carry has the higher attack with uh, a high rating. For their HP, actually, they're both um, the same with low HP. Um, for hit, Ramji would have the advantage at average stat because um, he's more of again leaning towards support and their dodge is both average for crit hit um it goes to carry with the uh, average with the higher attack for block obviously they have low block because their support and 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 the other one is attack and the one to take note really is their is their attack speed so for ram g um attack speed is actually at, at above average i think this is at 74 but for carry she is actually at uh, only an average i think her speed is 56 so you have to con consider this because in team building um turns actually um play a big role in your team construction and who want who is who should go first who should go last so this these stats you should consider when choosing Ramji or Kari for your teams. So we'll go now to the skills of the individual um, individual heroes. I'll focus more on their uh, what they call this their their uh, original form because it would be unfair for Kari. Kari doesn't really have a a fate core right now. So let's go through her skills. So I actually pulled for Carrie. Um, I got one. I got one copy copy of her. So let's go through her skills. So she actually, in terms of skills, she will be she in terms of passive skills, she will be more um, advantageous versus Ramji. She has a lot because she has a general. So mana flow gives you mana. Then her top passive is mana utilization three which is very, very good as well. Um, increased attack based on mana account of, of allies and enemies. And the two unique uh, passives that she has is Bramble. Bramble afflicts target with less attack than self with Bramble marked at the start of battle and decreases health regeneration of all enemies by 20% for each Bramble mark on all enemies. The next would be Rosa Multiflora. Decreases health of target by 3% for 10 turns when the target has Bramble mark and can be stacked. So the key with the key with using carry is that she has to have the highest attack of your enemies for Bramble to trigger. So right now with, with her lack of signature force, it's actually difficult. Um, in my opinion, I think now in terms of what we have now in the game, um, carry would be a little bit uh, more disadvantage um, than Ramji because number one, she doesn't have signature force. Number two, she doesn't have her fate core. So those are the two factors that I think uh, um, carry would be disadvantageous to use 
rather than Ramji now. But take note, once she gets her signature force, once she gets her for her fate core, she might be better than Ramji. It would really depend again on your 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 preference on on if you want to use Ramji skills or you want to use um, carry skills. So let's go on to her S1. So for her S1, it deals 95 damage to all enemies, a flex target, and nullify heal for 14 turns. The good thing about nullify heal is that it doesn't need to hit here. So it deals damage, but for 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 nullify heal doesn't need to to for you to hit. So let's say for example, if if it has damage immunity, um, nullify heal will still take effect. So for her S two, so she has noble rose. So uh, required mana four burst deals one seven fifty damage to one enemy. So a good single target um, burst attack damage so that is it for carry so she actually has um a lot of ways to go in terms of her usability you can still use her but um it would be a shame if you cannot affect or afflict bramble to the opponent's side so i would suggest if you have uh, ramji actually um, built up i would suggest you go for ramji at this point so let's go with ramji's um skills So for Ramji, he has cleanse three. So damage over time and debuff effects of an ally gains mana. Um, so that is what he has for cleanse three. Very basic passive, but again, he has two, two what you call this, two fate cores, which gives him a lot, especially for his uh, uh, what first guardian fate core. He actually is very very good. So this is just his basic kit. Let's go to his S1. So for his S1, deals 225 damage to one enemy and afflicts target with nullify heal for 12 turns. So this is actually a single tar target nullify heal. Carry has only one nullify heal, but he has actually two. One for his S1 and two for his S2. Um, the self-harm is actually negligible if you don't have um, what they call the Shufraken on your team. So just to see, this is 12 turns. Let's let's go back a bit for carry. Her Nullify Heal actually lasts for 14 turns for their S1. But for Ramji, let's go back to him. For his S2... So deals 133% damage to all enemies, nullify heals for 16 turns. So he has a longer nullify heal with 16 turns versus a uh, versus carry, which only has 14 turns. Um, S1 of carry is actually deals all, dam uh, all de deals damage to all enemies. So nullify heal to all enemies. So while um, Ramji's S2 is actually a damage to all and nullify heal as well and again um, you can ignore the self-harm effects if you don't have um, shifraken in your team so those are the basic comparisons on their stats um, their skills um, for ramji actually he will be more of an improved uh, version once you equip him with his fate course so again, back to the comparison between Ramji and uh, and uh, who who call this Ramji and Carry. Number one, Carry is not really ready now in terms of if you're going to use her. She has a a a a, a way way more um, mileage to go in terms of increasing her stats because she doesn't have signature force and she doesn't have her fate core. So for at and so at the moment, I suggest that you use Ramji. Um, he is actually in terms of skills right now more superior because of his FC and because of signature force that is available to um, North One Frosty. So anyway, guys, put your thoughts, your comments below. 
please also um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for everything. I've already reached um, 500 subscribers and I hope you continue to support me through my YouTube journey and uh, always take care. This is the Warden and I'm out.